I have my exam at 8.30 in the morning and I'm so used to waking up early on surgery that I automatically woke up before my alarm clock at 5 a.m. and have not been able to go back to sleep. So honestly, with all of this time, it's just gonna give me anxiety to just sit here. And so I decided to do some U World questions, which is kind of ridiculous, because like, what's the point of doing U World questions right now? Um, but I think this will actually make me feel a little bit better. So I'm gonna get through some questions, drink my coffee, then start getting ready and head out to the exam soon. This is a quick review for those of you who don't know, the USMLE stands for the United States Medical Licensing Exam. It is basically a three part exam. Step one, most medical students take during their second or first year of medical school. The score can help you be a competitive applicant depending on the residency you are considering. Step two, most people take either in their third year of medical school or their fourth year. And that is somewhat important, but not as stressful as step one. Traditionally, step two was a two-part exam. There was an in-person exam and a multiple choice exam. However, they recently got rid of the in-person simulation patient exams. Um, so those no longer exist. So right now, step one and step two are both fully multiple choice exams. And then finally, the USMLE step three is the third and last medical exam. Step three is an exam that most people take after their first year of residency, whether it's internal medicine, general surgery, whatever, they usually take it one year after the start of their residency because it is supposed to test basic knowledge that all doctors should have after finishing a year internship, which is a requirement um, to become a licensed uh, medical provider in the US. I completed step one um, after my second year of uh, medical school, it was in between second and third year. I did step two uh, in between third and fourth year, and I just finished my year of general surgery back in uh, end of September, and so I decided to take the US Assembly step three a couple weeks afterwards, and uh, that's where I am today. This is a two day exam, which is um, not the same for step one and step two. Step three, you have the first day is all multiple choice. The second day, you have a portion that's multiple choice, and then a portion that's case based simulations. It's supposed to test your knowledge on how to manage patients that come in, and so it's more like a vignette and case and you put in orders. And so it is definitely a little bit of a different structure and something that I had to get used to. Um, and I'll talk more about study materials in a different video. Don't forget to watch my other videos on USMLE step one. Um, and I will create more videos because you're interested. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, comment below, let me know what specific questions you have about step three. It was definitely challenging because I didn't have a lot of time off to study for this different from step one and step two. And so a whole nother set of challenges to be able to do this while working a full surgical residence schedule with a hundred plus hours per week. So um, wish me luck, you guys. I am about to order an Uber and head to the exam. Hello, how's it going? A very long time to call an Uber. It's been so bad with the COVID pandemic, but finally got a ride and hopefully the stressful part of my day will be over and now I can focus on my exam and get there. I'll show you guys what it looks like when we're there. The exam is at 8.30 in the morning and it is 8.10 right now. Not ideal. I wanted to arrive at 8 a.m. yesterday for day one. I actually got here really early and had to wait around but because it's raining today everything usually is delayed and there's a lot of traffic so I'm gonna head upstairs to check in. a couple of blocks of the exam. I think so far day two has felt a lot better than day one. Day one, I felt really overwhelmed. Lots of blocks, lots of questions, a very long exam. 
Um, today is even longer, but there are cases at the end of the day. And for whatever reason, I'm looking forward to the cases. I think it's going to be a nice break from all of the multiple choice, even though it's a little nerve wracking because I've never taken um, that type of exam before. I'm like an expert multiple choice taker, but haven't really done cases. I am just looking forward to having a break from the multiple choice questions. And so today feels a little bit better and the questions feel a little bit better and I feel a little bit more focused. And so that's really positive, but I did want to take a mental break. I finished three blocks um, and you get 45 minutes of break on USMLE day one and day two. You could do whatever you want with that break. You could take all of it in one sitting. You can split it up 10 minutes after each block, whatever you want, as long as you only use 45 minutes, which is your allotted time. If you go over that, it's going to eat up from your actual exam time. So don't do that. Make sure you plan accordingly. Um, yesterday, I divided it up every two blocks. I took about a five to 10 minute break and ended up having about five minutes left over in my break time. That does not get added to your exam time. It just means that you finish five minutes um, early. And so uh, that's basically how it works. You'll go online, just Google, you know, USMLE break time. And there's tons of people out there will tell you, you know, do this, do that. I think it's totally up to you and what is going to work for you. I usually walk into the day with a little bit of a plan, but end up kind of going with the flow and seeing how I feel. So for example, today there's six blocks. Each block is 45 minutes of multiple choice. And then you have 13 cases at the end. Again, 45 minute break. I thought that I would do two blocks, um, 10 minute break, two blocks, 10 minute break, two blocks, 10 minute break. That puts me about um, 30 minutes and then do a 15 minute break somewhere in between the cases. Um, but I ended up feeling pretty good this morning. And so I ended up doing three blocks back to back. So now I have 45 minutes to um, use with three more blocks of multiple choice questions and then 13 cases. So during this block, I'm just going to take it easy, have something to eat eat. Um, my mom is visiting me, so she packed me some food, which is so nice. She packed me some carrots, um, some homemade phyllo dough with um, spinach and cheese pastries, which are delicious. Very grateful for my mom being here. Some grapes um, for energy and then a little bar and of course some water to stay hydrated. I try to drink, so I'm hydrated, but not drink it so much that I'm having to go to the bathroom a lot. So I'm gonna take a mental break, snack a little bit, have some water and head back into the exam. I plan for this break to be about 10 minutes. I'm on my third and I think last break, I just took the last block of the multiple choice and then I did three blocks um, of my simulation cases. I did two uh, 20 minute blocks and one 10 minute block and then I decided to take a break. I actually have a lot of break time because if you end up finishing the case a little bit early, that leftover time goes into your break time. And so my break time has gone from like 30 minutes to 45 minutes to now it looks like it's like 50 something minutes. And so um, if you are worried about breaks, you can have longer breaks depending on how long it takes you to get through the case. Um, and sometimes the cases just end abruptly. Um, I didn't really know that. I like read that somewhere, but I didn't really understand what that meant. But if depending on how you handle the case, the case, if you like put in the right orders or something like that, I think the case will just abruptly end. I am going to just drink some water, stretch my legs and head back in there. I'm going to finish the rest of the cases, I think, because the cases are actually not super mentally draining. They're kind of fun. You're like putting in orders and, you know, after being a super intern for so long putting in orders and admitting patients is not a problem and so um, it's actually like the fun part of the exam believe it or not so I'm going to get to it try to finish it and maybe I'll finish the day early because today is longer than yesterday today's supposed to be a nine hour exam yesterday was about seven hours so if I can get out a little bit early today that would be really awesome because I'm actually on call tonight for oral surgery so I'm going to finish this up hopefully run home take Ozzy on a walk and then um, have something to eat and head to the hospital for a night of call. I am all done with the U.S. assembly exam. I'm so freaking excited, you guys. The last part of the exam actually went pretty well. I felt like I was getting through cases really quickly. There was one case where I really didn't know what was going on, but all of the other cases, I felt like I had a pretty good idea of what the diagnosis was and I was putting in orders accordingly. And so 
I am praying that I pass this exam and I do well. Um, all I need to do is pass what was really nice about being an oral maxillofacial surgery residency um, during my medical school experiences. I really didn't have to stress about US Assembly 1, 2, and 3. I just needed to pass, which is an amazing, amazing, amazing feeling because you are like learning just to learn. Um, and as long as you pass the exam, you're going to be fine. I didn't need it to apply to residency and be really, really competitive because we already took all of our tests before um, starting medical school. Really done with the US Assembly. Hopefully once and for all, I can't get too happy until the results come out. I'll definitely update you guys when the results come out. And if you want to see more videos like this, like how I crazily vlogged the day of my US Assembly board exam, make sure you subscribe to this channel so you're the first to know when I drop new videos. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for supporting. Bye.